Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Roman Jacquez, um, and this is my entry for the Amazon Alexa Skills Challenge Multimodal. I created a skill um, that predicts uh, a, pre a pregnant woman's uh, baby's gender uh, based on the Mayan uh, gender predictor chart. This is supposed to be like an ancient um, kind of like myth or, or a way for them to predict what what the gender of the baby would be, whether a boy or a girl, depending uh, based on the age at conception of the mother and the month of on, of conception. And then with those two values, then they would they would uh, predict whether it was a boy or a girl. So I created this skill. I wrapped it around um, an Alexa skill and I integrated the Alexa presentation language uh, uh, to it. Uh, this is kind of like the way that it looks, so I, I will start it all over so that you guys can see it. Um, so first of all, you have to invoke it, and I will invoke it by just saying, Open Mayan Gender Predictor. Welcome to the Gender Predictor. Based on the Mayan Gender Chart, with your age at conception and the months of conception, I will predict what your baby's gender will be. Let's start with your age. Say your age at conception between 18 and 40. You have to provide a, a valid input. For example, if you say, I was 15 years old. Please enter an age between 18 and 40. Whether you go below or above, it was gonna, it's going to give you that. So you provided a valid input. For example, 20 years old. Great. You were 20 years old when you got pregnant. Now, say the month in which you conceived. Let me start it again so that I at least I can show you the um, the the APL. So let's start it again, and then I'm going to. Uh, there was a problem, so let me just uh, refresh it real quick, and I'm going to disable the skill I/O, and I'm going to only enable the device display. So let's try it again. Open Mayan Gender Predictor. You can see the APL. Uh, Welcome to the Gender there. Predictor. Based on the Mayan gender chart, with your age and then you can provide the valid input. For example, I will predict what your baby's gender will be. Eighteen years old. Age. Great. You see you that you switched. Eighteen years old when you got pregnant. Now, say the month in which you conceived. June. Nice. You conceived in June. Okay. Now that I have your age at eighteen years old, and you conceived on a June, I'll predict what your baby's gender will be. Do you want me to proceed? If you say yes, uh, you want to proceed, then it would then it would perform the calculation. So if you say yes, we predict your baby will be a boy. Congratulations. Now I'm gonna try this. Goodbye. I'm gonna try this on another type of uh, device. For example, the small hub, and then I'll try this all over again. I, I think I'll leave a refresh again. And then I'll just do the small hub. Here we go. Open Mayan gender predictor. Welcome to the gender predictor. Based 35 gender years gender. old. Great. You were 35 years old when you got pregnant. Now, say the month in which you conceived. And if you go by the Mayan gender predictor, for example, if I said uh, I said that I was 35 years old, 35 years old is right here. If I want to say that is a girl, so I'll say February, and then it will uh, it should be able to get that correctly. February. Nice. You conceived in February. Okay. Now that I have your age at 35 years old, and you conceived on the February, I'll predict what your baby's gender will be. Do you want me to proceed? Yes. And then it will say that it's a girl. And then it will show you this type of UI right here. Congratulations. So that's based on a small hub. Goodbye. I can try to do it, for example, on a large screen, and it will pretty much be the same thing. I, I can keep it like that, but I'll do, for example, like other permutations and other things that the skill is based on. So if I do open my end gender predictor. This is like on an extra large Welcome TV. To the gender predictor. Based on the Mayan gender 25 chart, years old. Great. You were 25 years old I when do you got 25, pregnant. and I say, for now, example, say the month um, in which you conceived. April. April. Nice. You conceived in April. Okay. Now that I have your age at 25 years old, and you conceived on April, 
I'll predict what your baby's gender is. You can immediately say yes. Do you want me to proceed? Yes. Yes. And then you say, it will say that it's a boy. So for example, if you try something like, Congratulations. like start it all over and then you want to stop it in the middle. Goodbye. Let, let's try that. Or just say no in this case. Open Mayan gender predictor. Welcome to the gender predictor. 28 so years old. Great. You were 28 years old when you got pregnant. Now, say the month. August. Nice. And then let's say at this you point you don't August. want to proceed. Okay. You can just say no. No. We will keep it a secret. See, then. he will tell you Thanks that he will keep it a secret and then he predictor. will thank you for that. If at, if at any point during the execution of the skill you stop it also, it should give you like a goodbye or like, you know, thank you for using this skill. So if you do again, open my gender predictor. Welcome to the gender predictor. Based on the Mayan gender chart. Cancel. Please say a valid age so we can proceed. I'll try saying. Try saying your age like. Stop. Goodbye. There you go, like that. So then immediately you can stop it and then it will say like, you know, hello. thank you for using the, the predictor. So pretty much this is what the what this skill uh, entails. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can either provide it in the comments or at least right now, this is just the video for the submission. Um, other than that, then if you have any more questions about this skill, um, you can shoot me an email at romanijaques at gmail.com, but at least I will provide this. Uh, this will be public um, and available to everyone as of today, uh, uh, which is um, um, Sunday, December 16, 2018. But this is mostly, this will be used for the submission for the multimodal challenge. So thank you very much uh, for your time and uh, have a good day.